Hello, and welcome to Linux Server Training 101. My name is Don Crawley from SoundTraining.net. We're the Seattle, Washington-based provider of accelerated IT training for IT professionals. Today, we're doing Getting Help in Linux. This is based on Chapter 2 in my book, The Accidental Administrator, Linux Server Step-by-Step -Step Configuration Guide. It's not required for the video, but if you'd like to pick up a copy, it's available through Amazon.com in both Kindle and paperback editions and through other channels as well. Our video today is based on CentOS version 5.8, although frankly the things that we're going to show you will work with pretty much any Linux distro, whether you're using perhaps Slackware or SUSE, Red Hat, Debian, Ubuntu, Mint, doesn't really matter, or even most uh, versions of Unix. But if you want to strictly follow along with what I'm doing, I'm doing this based on CentOS version 5.8. So when you're working with Linux, there are several ways that you can get help. And this is presuming that you're working in the command line interface. One is the man pages, which are the programmer's manual pages. Then there's also the info pages, which were developed as part of the GNU project. There's apropos, which allows you to search for the descriptions of the man pages for particular text strings. And then finally, there's help, which shows you syntax and options. Let's start by taking a look at the man page options, uh, which are really the sections. Um, there are a total of 10 sections, and the section that is brought up depends upon the, the type of command, although some of the commands have uh, lives in, in multiple sections, as you'll see in a moment. I'm not going to go over all of the sections here because that's really beyond the, the scope of this video, but I did want to show you what they are, and we'll demonstrate that in just a moment. In order to do this exercise, you should have the following, a willingness to work in the Linux command line environment. I know a lot of people who... Uh, in today's world, just really want to point and click with a mouse, and that's fine. But if that's you, then this probably isn't for you. And unrestricted root access to a Linux server. Absolutely not required that you have root access, but if you want to learn Linux, you're going to need it at some point. So I strongly recommend that you do that. The equipment and software requirements, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I'm using CentOS version 5.8, but the procedures that I'm going to show you should work with nearly any distro or any version of Unix for that matter. I'm using a Linux server running as a virtual machine under VMware Workstation 8.0.3, uh, but you could use VirtualBox or any other virtualization environment, or frankly, you could use a physical machine. That's entirely up to you. doesn't really matter. So let's go ahead and get started with the demos, and let's start by just uh, showing a man page for some command. Let's do man ls, and here you can see it shows the man page, again the programmer's manual page, for the ls command, which is how we list the directory contents. Now I'm going to press the enter key, and you'll notice that it shows one more line at a time. If I touch the spacebar key, it shows another page at a time. And I can use the up and down arrows to scroll backwards and forwards through the output. The reason that works is because man uses the less utility to display the contents of the man pages. And because it's the less utility, that means that I touch the Q key to break out of it, as you can see there. Now let's get a little more specific with the sections. You'll recall earlier I mentioned that there are a total of 10 sections in the man pages, and we can display the particular man page for a particular section by specifying that section in the command. Now that was kind of a mouthful, but here's what I mean. Let's say we want to take a look at the uh, section 1 man page for the chmod command, so I would say man1 chmod, and you'll notice in the upper left hand corner it says chmod and then in parenthesis 1. That means we're looking at the section 1 man page for chmod. Let's touch Q to get out of that. And now let's take a look at a different section man page for the same command. So we'll type man2 chmod. And notice that now it's showing us the man page for section 2 for the chmod command. This is from the Linux programmer's manual. Again, we'll touch Q to break out of it. Now let's take a look at using apropos. The apropos utility allows us to search the descriptions of man pages for a particular text string. So let's type man sudo for starters. And just notice in the description where there are several instances of the text string sudo. Now let's break out of this and let's type apropos sudo. And look what it shows us. It shows us each of the man pages that includes the text string sudo in its description. And not only that, it shows us the section. So most of them are in section 8, but you can see there's a couple that are in section 5. So if we wanted to, then we could type in man 
uh, five sudoers. And it brings up the maintenance command section, that's section five, for the man page for sudoers. Again, we'll touch Q to break out of it. Now let's take a look at GNU Info, the info pages. It's much like the man pages. In fact, sometimes the information is exactly the same. It's identical. Not always, but sometimes. The difference is that GNU Info organizes help into nodes, um, and it's the, the navigation is different. It does include the capability of hyperlinking, and if you're familiar with point-and-click browsers, you may think, well, how do you do that in a text file? Well, to follow a cross-reference, you'll move the cursor over a hyperlink, which is a word preceded by a, an asterisk, and press the Enter key. So let's take a look at how you use info, and I'll show you some examples of that. All right, let's start with the command info chmod. Again, just using chmod because it's a handy command for which there's lots of help. And as you can see, it opens up the uh, info page for the chmod command. Now, let's scroll down. Uh, let's just use the arrow keys to scroll down. And we can scroll back up. And let's go to a hyperlink. And we'll find one a word that is preceded by an asterisk. So here's one right here. So we'll move the cursor over that and press the Enter key. And it takes us to the note that was referenced in the hyperlink. We can touch the L key to go back to the previous node. That's not very intuitive, is it? But that's the command you use. We can touch N to move to the next node, or P to move to the previous node. Now we're back where we started. And one thing that you may find pretty helpful if you choose to work with info very much is to touch the H key, and that opens up a tutorial. And if you're going to work with info as opposed to the man pages, it's probably worth your time to spend oh, half an hour going through the, the tutorial and getting familiar with it. I'll touch Q to break out of it. And now let's take a look at the last form of help, and that is the help pages. So again, I'll type chmod and dash dash help and it opens up the help page for chmod not a lot of information here what help really gives you is syntax and options and as you can see that's what we've got here now not all of the help pages are as short as what you're seeing here let's take a look at one that might be a little longer let's do ls dash dash help and here you can see it's a lot longer and we can navigate through it by using the key combination of shift page up and shift page down. If you'd like more information, we have tutorials and other videos as well as information about our training programs for IT pros at www.soundtraining.net. There are books for IT pros on topics ranging from Cisco to Linux to customer service and other topics all oriented toward IT professionals at our bookstore, which is available at soundtraining.net slash bookstore. I blog at soundtraining.net slash blog. We've got more videos for you at soundtraining.net slash videos, and you'll find us on Google+. Plus. Facebook, and Twitter. As we mentioned, if you want more videos, click on the big blue button to go to our video channel. And if you'd like the companion book for this video, it is the Accidental Administrator Linux Server Step-by-Step -step Configuration Guide. It's available at our bookstore at www.soundtraining.net slash bookstore. For soundtraining.net, I'm Don Crawley. Hope it's been helpful. We'll see you next time.